hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to create this simple design that i found and it was very interesting because usually whenever i say containers either it's like a box or it's like a circular boxes or something you stack one below the other which is most of the time it's like boxes so i thought why not try something different by using this curved endings and it gives you a feel that it's a list view when you scroll up so if you look at the emulator here you can see that it's kind of a list view but i'm not using a list view i'm in fact using a container uh, with a border radius and positions widget so i thought of using it and uh, to achieve this design there are a lot of uh, factors a uh, lot of interesting components that i've used first thing is this circular avatar where i'm trying to overlap over one another where um, say for example if you if you've seen a meetup or a social event app definitely you would like to add the number of attendees but do not want to give the entire list just give a picture as to how many people are attending so you could use the circle avatar with small pictures and overlap it and you can also see that um, I've used these um, icons here and I'm restring, restricting it only to three of them. You can definitely add it as a list view, which is a horizontal view and add more icons so that you could scroll it. So yeah, so there are definitely a lot of things here, but um, and uh, yeah, people might come up saying, okay, uh, you've used position widget, why don't you use overlay? Definitely please free, feel free to try it and let me know if you are able to achieve this curved design using the overlay part and uh, if you find any other different uh, interesting ways please do share it so we will start up uh, with the basic um, creation of this containers and then i'll show you how to add the detail sections inside it so it is scrollable and it's got the border radius position widget and um, yeah containers that's it so let's start up with it i'll clear up the template and uh, we can start coding all right uh, to start up with the designing part first i'm going to design this um, curved uh, containers so i would be using a single child um, scroll view so that it gives you that effect of it's like a list view so let's start um, working on it so my first component would be a single child scroll view and inside this i have a simple child container and um, okay it's with the lowercase and inside my container i'm giving a height which is nothing but the entire screen height and then i'm using um stack widget so that it stacks each container uh, depending on the position widget so i'm using a child new stack and then i'm using the children widget and then uh, my first component of the stack is a position widget and uh, inside my position widget I require a child which is nothing but a container so each item here whatever you see here is a container so each color is a container so that's how it gives you you're able to control that containers border radius and achieve it kind of in a list item so what I'm going to do is so first is a container um, also the way I've designed is my last I'm going to first design the last component because that's going to take the entire screen um, height and then I'm reducing the height so that I'm able to achieve this design so what I'm going to do is first going to start with a container and inside a container I'm going to give a particular color height and width so you could see here so I've given a color to the container a height the same as the height of the screen width and then inside this i'm gonna create some padding and a column so that i can start adding the um, content into it so i'm gonna i'm just adding a padding just to make sure that i get the text aligned properly so i have a column component 
and I'm going to add um, a main axis alignment. I have to mention this because I'm using this entire structure. So what happens is if I say if I'm if I start adding content into it, it will start appearing here. Then when you overlap it with other position widgets, you will not be able to so see the content. So in order to see the content, you, you need to add this main axis alignment so that it appears in the end section. So similar way I'm going to use for everything. So I would say that is a simple um, a drawback uh, using this approach. But definitely if you want to use this use case just to show a few details and then when you click on it, give more details, you can definitely use it. And um, yeah, so inside this, I'm going to use a children widget array and each of it contains a container. Now, what is this container? This container is nothing but a text with a color and I'm using today 9 p.m. That's what you see here. Then my next container is nothing but it's another text with a uh, another subtitle or main title which says easy and gentle yoga. Um, so you could see this text and then I'm using a, a button. Uh, in this case, I'm using it like a chip. If you have seen my uh, wrap video where I've used these kind of chips I've created. So you can definitely watch. I've, I'll leave a link in the description as to how to create these kind of chips, which is very important in these days app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, this chip. Um, so it's a simple um, padding um, widget. So it's a container which takes the width of the um, screen. And then I use a wrap and I say it's a horizontal with a spacing and run spacing. Since I'm using a single button, I don't need this. But if you're using a multiple one, say, for example, if you're saying you're going or not going or attending, you want to add a couple of more buttons, you can definitely make use of this. And then I've created my own widget, which is the my chip and I'm adding a text to it. Now, if you click on this, what exactly this function does is it's a raised button and I'm adding the name, which I'm picking it up from this. And then I'm using a rounded rectangular border with a border radius circle of 30. So that's what gives you this effect of circular chip. So, yeah. So this part is done. So you are done with the first section. Next, moving on to this section, it's the same container, whatever we have done until now, that is your, this one, the position widget. The only difference will be the height would be a particular size so that it looks like you're actually overlapping it over your previous position widget. So I'll show you how to do it. So moving on to the next one. Let me see the balancing braces. Um, yeah, this is the position widget. So the next position widget comes here. So it's also another position widget. But the only difference is, and I've also forgot to mention that I have given the last container as a box container. I have not given this curve shape. So that's the reason you would not find a border radius in this. If you want, definitely you can add it to give all your containers a border radius. But in this, I have not given it. But now going forward, you would find a border radius. So what I've done is it's a position widget. Okay, let me align it properly. Okay, it's a, pos it's a position widget with a container and a height of 480. Width is same. Then what I'm doing is I'm using a box decoration. So here is what gives you that circular effect. So you could see that. So it's a box de decoration with a particular color and a circular with 75. So you can play around with these values. In fact, you can also give, I've given a bottom left with the radius 75, you see here. So this is the bottom left. If you give in bottom right with the same, you get that curved bucket shape kind of uh, containers. So definitely you can play around with these values and see what kind of design you want to achieve. Then inside this, it's purely a padding of my containers and um, values. So I'll just add those details and it's nothing uh, much. It's just two circular icons with a text and another text. So I'll quickly add this code and 
I'll show you how it looks. Yeah, so I've just built this and if you see, um, it is a scrollable one and you can see that the first container is placed down and this is your second container. And you can see that the text is placed in the end. So next you're going to overlap it or stack it with another container so that it occupies the next list. So I'm going to show you that and the interesting part is I'm also going to show you how to add the circle avatar overlapping it. So what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to add my third position widget. So let me see where this ends. Okay, here's my third position widget. And in this widget is where I'm going to add my um, circle avatar. So let's start adding it. The only difference between this and the previous one would be the content and the height of it. So let's start adding it. So it's the same position widget with a container height of 280 and the box radius it's the same and then inside this I'm going to add a padding and then I'll show you how to add those circle um, widgets. So let me quickly um, grab the content or if maybe I can start up with the uh, content first okay so so here I have the padding part oh, wait let me grab the because it's purely a combination of text and uh, icons I didn't want to type and elaborate this video so the only part which needs more focus I'm just going to show you those things so so yeah this is my third container from bottom so i've given a height of 280 similar way box de decoration with a radius of 75 and then what happened uh, i've added the content which says today 6 pm yoga for beginner now here comes your circle containers so what i've done is inside this um another container i've added a stack so another stack has been followed so that i can add those circular avatar and inside this I've added a container and everything I've given a left position factor so that first one starts with 0 second one starts with 20 and inside this is the box decoration with an image so the only difference between all these pictures how do you overlap is giving a left factor of 20 each so I've given this as 20 this as 40 and this is 60 and changing the images that's the only difference and you would be able to achieve that um, overlapping circle image. So I'll just build this and I'll show you how it looks. So there you go. I have built this. So you can see that the third container overlaps on your second and it is still scrollable. And you can see that the first one takes the position left 0. The second one is left 20, then left 40, left. Similar way you can even do with the right. And if you want the avatars or circle components to appear in this fashion, you can add it and then I've added a text to it. Now let's focus on the last container. And yeah, so let's add the last component. Uh, let me quickly uh, check where this position ends and then add the new one. Okay, here it is. So the last one is nothing but a simple position widget with a simple height of 120 and it's also got a border radius so i wanted to show you the border radius part um, let me add the content and then i'll show you that variation so if you look at this it's another position widget with a container height of 120 so that it appears as your first um, container and similarly i've given a box radius decoration and left bottom left with radius 75 but i'm also gonna add another radius just to show you that how it looks so i'm gonna say right and 75 and then i'm gonna add a, a row component uh, which is nothing but a combination of your icons and text so let me quickly add this okay there you go and um okay let me quickly add few more details so i've added the last container which is the height 120 and i've given this radius left um, and it's 
it's purely a container with icons and colors so if i let me build this and i'll show you how it looks and i'm also going to show you that variation in the bottom left radius how it looks so yeah there you go so if you see that this is your last container which is nothing but um, it's a position widget with a particular height and then it's it's a row of icons that's it you can definitely add a list view here and it is scrollable so this is how you achieve this design and i want to show you this um, effect so instead of um, just leaving it to the bottom left if i add a bottom right you could see how this design changes so if you want your list items so you can can you see there so if you want to make this kind of a design it is possible so that you have this curvature circle on both your items and um, yeah so this is also possible this is also one kind of a design so definitely feel free to try this design and if you find something interesting please do share it and um, yeah so here i've used a couple of interesting components like uh, the um, scroll view single child scroll view i've used border radius i've used position widgets i've used those um, chips uh, to create those raised buttons and um, so nothing complicated no plugins no libraries it's just your simple flutter components and i was able to do this hope you like this video if you do like please give it a like and subscribe and if you find it informative please do share it thank you so much